This episode of Underground Rich is brought to you by the Ironman.com. Music, sports, and entertainment news from Ironman Media. Follow the Ironman on Instagram at ironman.media. Hip-hop is one of the world's most popular music genres, and Jay-Z is one of its kings. Being hip-hop royalty, Jay is married to his queen, music superstar Beyonce. Together, they make one of entertainment's most powerful couples. 444 is an album created by Jay, a sort of personal homage to himself and his experiences. Today is Wednesday, October 9, 2019, and in today's episode of Underground Reggie, we will discuss Jay-Z's 444 album and its impact on his legacy. I'm your host, Rico Banks, and you're listening to Underground Reggie. Born December 4th, 1969, Sean Corey Carter is professionally known as Jay-Z. He's an American rapper, songwriter, producer, entrepreneur, and record executive. Considered among the best American rappers of all time, he is regarded as one of the world's most significant cultural icons and has been a global force in popular culture for over two decades. Born and raised in New York City, Jay-Z first began his musical career after founding the record label Rockefeller Records in 1995 and subsequently released his debut studio album Reasonable Doubt in 1996. The album was released to widespread critical success and solidified his standing in the music industry. He has gone on to release 12 additional albums, which have all attained generally positive critical reception and universal commercial success, with The Blueprint in 2001 and The Black Album in 2003, albums later being heralded as modern musical classics. He has also released the full-length collaborative albums Watch the Throne and Everything is Love, with Kanye West and his wife Beyonce respectively. Outside of his music career, Jay-Z has also attained significant success and media attention for his career as a businessman. In 1999, he founded the clothing line Rockwear, and in 2003, he founded the luxury sports bar chain, the 4040 Club. Both businesses have grown to become multi-million dollar corporations and allowed Jay-Z to fund Rock Nation, which he founded in 2008. In 2015, he took charge of the media streaming company title, which has since become the world's third largest online streaming company. His marriage to musician Beyonce has also been a source of substantial media attention. Jay-Z is among the most critically acclaimed musicians and one of the best-selling music artists of all time, with over 125 million records sold worldwide. He has won a total of 22 Grammy Awards, the most by a rapper, and holds the record for the most number one albums by a solo artist on the Billboard 200 with 14. Coming up next, we'll discuss his 13th studio album, 444, on Underground Ridge. Four 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 is one of Jay Z's best albums to date. The production is stellar. The lyrics are superb. The concept is fresh, and the timing couldn't have been better. This is the minimalist Jay Z at his best. We have seen Jay Z live the life of a truly modest businessman and now family man, following his hire as president of Def Jam Recordings. His clothes haven't been as flashy. His cars haven't been as extravagant. His jewelry accessories have also been replaced by a wife and kids. This has been a complete 360 from the rock and roll lifestyle for Mr. Carter. I was awakened this morning by a dream, a dream that led me to this piece. It was about a man buying a corsage for his wife online. The corsage was to go on the dress she was wearing to a formal event. This event would be attended by the husband and wife. The husband is a wealthy businessman, and his assistants were teaching him an easy way to design a corsage himself for his wife. The website lists multiple colors and prices for the flowers, and you can see them being inserted and subtracted on the virtual canvas. The husband was having a hard time deciding between the prices, colors, and flowers because the design looked cluttered to him, completed, and he couldn't tell which color and flower was which. The prices didn't matter at the moment because the husband is wealthy, but love was driving him to complete the task. Growing frustrated, the husband decides to uncheck all the options available and design the corsage piece by piece. He begins unchecking all the items until he's left with one last item before his canvas is completely clear. It's one single peach colored flower left. The husband sees it and looks it over. The husband does this a few times before deciding this is the one. This is his wife's corsage. 
this one peach colored flower. This realization ended my dream, and Jay-Z's album cover was the first thing I thought about as I opened my eyes. 444 isn't Jay-Z's album response to Beyonce's Lemonade, but it's an album directly meant for himself. It's a reminder to the old, new, and future version of himself. It's special to him, and possibly the first album he's put together completely hands-on by himself, and it took him 13 albums to do it. This is Jay-Z's baby, his first album where he picked all the beats for the production. He wrote all the lyrics, he decided the team members. He put together the marketing plan. He decided on the visuals and single release strategy, merchandising with tour strategies, and yes, he even personally designed the album's cover and liner notes detailing the credits. It even says that on the album cover. This is his 13th studio album. This is his 13th album, but also his baby. 444 is independent album number one in Jay-Z's mind, and we're all able to share this moment with him, and I love it. We're all witnessing a man progress in front of our eyes, and it's amazing. Yes, he is more simplistic and more of a minimalist these days, but only because this is the man that truly understands his worth and what's important to him in his life. This is awesomeness. Thanks for listening to another episode of Underground Reggie. I'm your host, Rico Banks. Make sure you follow the I Am In on Instagram at IamIn.media. We'll be back for another episode soon. Stay tuned. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.